Fort William. In Scotland! My hometown. Yeah, it's like, we're in Scotland. Huh? We're in Fort William. We're in Fort William, family. I think Fort William just is a special place. I like, I like it here. Um, like before there was like bagpipes playing in the pits and I was like, this is sick. Like, you know, just, just nice, you know, like familiarity. The World Championship stands on its own outside of the World Cup series. It's not part of the series, it's nothing to do with the World Cup. World Champs is just this one-off random race where you represent your country. You get one run and if you win it you're crowned World Champion for that entire year. Yeah, it brings the best and the worst out of a lot of different people. It's like kind of what every rider dreams of winning. Pretty much everyone in my close community is here, which is actually pretty mental. <laughs> it's alright really. And yeah, they're all here for the race and I know they're all here like to... They don't actually really care about my result. Like they don't actually care. Well, I hope they don't. What's up guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Shut up. Hi mate, what are you doing? Yeah, my stuff last minute. <laughs> nice one, standard. Yeah. So professional. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> boom, boom. It's just... It's such a legendary track for one. It's been like on the circuit every single year since I was watching it when I was younger. You get here, it's like no other place. It's exposed, it's so moody. It's like always dark and gray and raining and it's just scary. And like the track is like no other. You're not riding on like nice dirt and like in the trees. You're riding on like granite and rock and like boggy stuff. <laughs> it's like not nice. It's not somewhere you wouldn't like Personally, I wouldn't choose. Oh, let's go and ride Fort William for fun today, you know? Well, the last time I raced here, 2019, I came into this race with a number one plate for the first time ever. Got it, made it to here on my first run, and then went over the bars here because I like hit a rock and um, tore my AC joint on my shoulder. So that was my first like, injury, which then led on to a few more, so not the best memories, but they filled it in, so it looks like a different section now. There's literally no rocks left, so... Yeah. It's f***ing long. It's, it's a long track, and the whole way down, just big holes, the bike's constantly just like pulling away from you, so you just got to like, hang on. It's just, like I said before, it's unique for probably 85% of it, it's one line, and it's just hitting that one line as fast as you can. It's just crushed gravel, and then there's rocks on there, then just this bog swamp sort of <laughs> thing comes through, and so it's just a mixture of everything. It just scares people, it's a gnarly track, so you know, if you're crowned king or queen of Fort William, it's a big deal. Yeah, it's insane, but I guess that's why it's Fort William and so legendary of a track. You've got a midget net. You've got a midget net? Of course you've got a midget What, you just like... Yeah. Do you know I'm going to suffocate? Yeah. yeah. Nice, no? Nice. Fuck yeah, yes! This is good. Tiny throat. <laughs> I feel like a gangster. Yeah. Really <laughs> <laughs> I'm running around the tree because it goes down that way. And it makes that super tight. I think I caught the midges in them. Yeah, it's very possible, yeah. They'll die though. 
Yes. They'll, eat, they'll get the fill and then just roll over and die. I love that house so much. Watch a film. But you just never know, so I'm like locking the door. Like, no, people thought I'm scared of, I don't really care about monsters. I'm scared of people. I'm scared of people. What? Nothing. I'm not scared about the monsters, no. Just the people. What monsters should we be scared of? I don't know. The boogie monster. <laughs> the boogie monster. <laughs> I guess like for Phoebe, it's, I'd love to think that I help her. I think we can bounce off each other a bit more about racing and stuff, which is cool. I'm just loving it. It's really good to have someone like Tani to just still learn so much off and um, ask her so many questions and yeah, it's so good. Yeah, it, it's cool to share these moments with someone that truly understands what it feels like. Just having someone there that's like, you know, you know it's pretty scary going for your first practice run. Like, pretty daunting, but like to know someone else going through the same thing, literally get to the start again, you're like, oh, we're here now, like, let's go do it. Like, it's a lot less um, daunting and scary, yeah. I know all the girls on the circuit and I've never been as close to someone as I have with Phoebe and I feel like she's my little sister, like the little sister that I've never had. Like, I would do anything for Phoebe and I feel like when you have a, like a strong friendship like that, it doesn't really matter what happens on the hill that day. Yeah, just like ride together and just have a good time. Like it's just sick. And uh, it's cool to see how far time has come. It really is. I think the world's last year in the J I felt like I missed out on a lot there and, and that was pretty painful to, to sit on the sidelines for that one and I think that race was what reignited like the spark and knowing that I wanted to race again or eventually at some point during that concussion so I was like I definitely still want this obviously because I'm getting so emotional over it and then coming here is kind of like just as good because it's almost like another opportunity has presented itself it's like well this is actually at home and it does, it feels special when you slip on the GB colours and you know that the whole crowd that's coming supports all the GB athletes and it's just, it is amazing. It's a different kind of feel to it. Qualifying is going to be her first full run on it. She's pretty nervous about piecing all the lines together, piecing the whole thing together, but it's world champs, so tomorrow's the only day that matters. So I think she'll be fine once she gets this one under the belt. But I don't know how she's doing right now, because right now she's about three minutes down Fort William or four even. So she's almost at the finish line as we speak. So we'll see, I'll check the live timing in a minute. Yeah, Tani's just slotted into P1. 1.3 up on Gloria Scarzi. she's all right but she qualified second with a crash I crashed over the line pretty much but she's in a lot of pain so I'm a bit worried about her but we'll see we'll wait and see Tony's with her now so we'll wait and see I didn't really turn back in I just kept where the hit was and came up and as I was in the air I saw that I was just going towards the barriers no, I just hit the barrier and then like crawled my way out of the finish line. I felt so sick and just get a bit more scared every time. Like obviously I gain confidence every time I ride 
but then some shit like that happens and then I question whether I want to keep doing that because it's not nice. Like obviously, especially when I'd just done it, I was in so much pain, I was feeling so sick and anxious again. And I get worried about my head and then I just said to dad, like, maybe I'm not ready yet, but... And I start to come around properly and, like, calm down and I'm not in as much pain. Yeah. I'm, like, oh, I'm alright, but it's just not a nice situation to be in. Can you show me the clip of Tani? Oh. I reckon she's one of the toughest humans I know. I'd 100% be crying and I'm on a flight home, I reckon. <laughs> Already? Just Tail between the legs. Just, just gone. Like, oh, I don't like mountain biking she, she's anymore. She's just like, <laughs> I'm gonna fucking race. Fucking so tough, it's ridiculous. Aww. And the hyper focus was on my arm, it was crazy. Oh, yeah. like, I couldn't get comfortable. And now look at me. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah not quite. Oh, great. That's a great angle. It could be a great part of your face. Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know at the moment, to be honest with you. I, I don't care. <laughs> I don't know. I just want to be happy in a ride and, and I just want to enjoy the ride. That's all I want to do. And she's literally been body slammed into star pickets and little signs. And she's just chilling in the living room now like nothing's ever happened. Like, it's insane. She's surprised with the time I put down or not? No, not at all, no. I'm surprised that your incredulous behaviour is not believing yourself. It annoys me. It annoys, <laughs> it annoys me so much. It's annoying much. both of us now. It actually pisses me off. Because you don't understand how good you are. Yeah. And that you're so, you're not confident at all. You need to just believe in yourself. You know? You'll probably be even faster. It's so fucking annoying. <laughs> Let's go to bed. <laughs> Let's go to your room. <laughs> She sore because obviously the crash was fucking massive. She almost ripped her arm off. Um, so she's feeling pretty beat up. I think her back is pretty sore as well. Other than the ridiculous crash, she rode a really good run today. I think for Tani, it's really, really good. I think she, she'll take a bit of confidence from that. And I think what everyone will easily forget is uh, the perspective. It's good, I don't know if it's a turning point. Can't predict the future, but it's gonna be Good from this point onwards, I think, for her, because she's slowly coming around to the idea that, yes, post-concussion, steady build back, I can do this, you know. But whether she'd race tomorrow, I don't know yet. Gotta ask her. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, I was like, well, we'll just keep going as if we're gonna start, like, and then if we get to the start and I don't wanna race, and you know, I feel like that's okay, <laughs> considering the crash I just had. I wanna, I wanna top, I wanna top five. But that's, I'm not setting a goal, like I just said before, I'm not setting goals, but if I go as fast as I possibly can, I'm the sickest run and come 20th, then I come 20th. I'll probably cry, but I'll come 20th. But if I come as fast as possibly can and get a top five, I'll be f***ing stoked. So yeah, it'll be a good deal. We still don't know what's happening with Tani. Um, medics and everyone else and pros have done what they can to give her the best opportunity to start. Whether she'll start or not, it's entirely on her. And we always ask them what they want to do, and that's why Tane's up there now, and she's doing exactly what she wants to do. Because she wants to roll out at the start gate, she can. Thieves wants to go for it, which is obvious. My nerves, yeah. through the roof. I felt a huge connection with the fans there. I felt like they all knew what I'd been through, and they were all kind of there to cheer me on, and I felt like I wanted to show how far I'd come, and I wanted to prove to myself that I could get past this mental barrier. Yeah, I was in a lot of pain, but I could, I could do it. Great Britain, let's hear it, everybody! Oh, 
deserve this! Has literally the story behind it is one of the epics. It just felt like all the work was finally becoming worth it. I just needed a bit of something, I think, so that just felt, it felt good. Yeah, getting to be part of a GB team, racing with Tani. I mean, I'm to do like do it in front of like the home crowd and do a good run that I'm proud of. I'm just that was the, that was a dream. So sharing that moment with her was just insane. Those moments mean so much to me. Being able to see Phoebe get a top five at World Champs in her first year of elites was yeah, incredible. <laughs> like what happened at Worlds was like humongous. And I'm so glad that I managed to get through it and show to myself and to my team and to my close friends just how far I have come along. Eddie, we got a little women's race run, fifth and sixth. They are too fucking sick. Ollie had a bit of a mishap with the weather, but just know next race you do better. Oh ho ho! <laughs> 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 Oh, what a fucking weekend, mate. Eh? Three weeks on the road. It's a challenge once your mental side goes and your body goes as well, you know? Oh, the big ball! If I start pushing too hard, they just could end up so badly. <laughs> You've watched it this far, you know this is how we roll and we have this sick bike that you can win. So this is a full FMD spec Canyon Tour, size medium and obviously in pink. To enter, all you've got to do is follow the instructions in the description or check out the Canyon Collective and FMD Instagram. Good luck. In the meantime, I'm gonna keep her safe. <laughs>